How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with the bottom of the well. Now, I was going to try and go through this game to the point where I was at. Maybe when I get all the people and go out of town. Thing is, I swear I did it this way. I tried to immediately call Chess, blah, blah, blah. And then this comes up. I went with Chess to help him out with his sister. Now, I haven't done a different Alice. Um... It only came up accidentally, and I swear this wasn't here before. I want to see what this is about, so I'm going to see if this does anything different. So I decided to go with chess. I mean, wait. Wait, we're with chess? No, we're not. There's no one in our place. Okay. I mean, how couldn't I? He clearly needed help. Altruistic. How long have you been dating? Cynic. Long enough to know my feelings were real. I mean, they felt real in the dream. Where did the sister live again? In a borough, practically the suburb, so pretty far. Chess said that he usually takes a subway or a bus. Chess actually lived just down the street, and we always had a customary place to meet. Hold on a minute, Chess said- wait, Chess actually lived just down the street? But wasn't he ages away before? We didn't even need to confirm the place anymore, but it didn't seem very likely we would be able to catch a bus or the subway. Well no, because it's the apocalypse! So how are you planning to get into the sister? In less than 30 minutes? Oh, spoiler, the bombs didn't start dropping on us within 30 minutes. It took longer than that. They did start, though. What? I thought they... Oh, wait, no, because we were able to run to the shelter, weren't we? That's lucky. Yeah, well, it didn't mean we weren't in a hurry. We didn't leave empty-handed, though, right? Oh, right, yes, I grabbed the biggest bag I had. A backpack people always call it magic. You can fit so much into it. Big on the inside and all that. Like a TARDIS. Okay, um... I'm gonna go with the same setup I had before. The flashlight did help. The map didn't massively, but I guess around the burrows it's gonna help. So, yeah, that's fine. Let's go... Oh, exit inventory. Go on, borrow. Sister, bombs are coming. How do you plan to get there in the chaos? The chaos... Yeah, the streets were nuts. Everything and everyone was going crazy. Crashes everywhere, but no one was responding. The street was completely gridlocked. I'm talking maybe 15 minutes after the first announcement here. All it takes is a few cars in the wrong place. But you live pretty centrally, right? It had to be better further out. Did Chess have a car? No, but he wanted a car. There was tons around. People just left them, keys in the ignition, and ran. Holy shit, it must have been Bedlam. It was. I was so scared. Oh no, Alice. So, steal a car or walk? We discussed walking. It was like 40 miles or something. It'd probably take at least 4 or 5 hours on a good day, and this wasn't a good day. Maybe a good start, though. Things might clear up outside the downtown area, and you might be able to steal a car there. Appropriate a car. Stealing sounds so criminal. Yeah, totally. We're criminals because we're stealing something in a dream! Heh. <laughs> Whatever you say. Any other options except stealing? Appropri <laughs> appropriating a car and hoofing it? Something in between. I know a guy with a motorcycle. He really loved that motorcycle, but I wondered if maybe he'd be willing to borrow it. I mean, for fuck's sake, we were going to go rescue a disabled woman. But it's the apocalypse! You know him well? Reasonably. This is gonna be like the white rabbit by any chance. I didn't know you knew how to drive a motorcycle. I don't! It's a dream! I'm a woman of many talents. Yeah, like your BA Literary Honours degree, which I'm jealous of! So why'd you do? Try appropriating a car. Walk out the worst of the chaos beside to try my acquaintance. I think getting a car is going to have consequences, but it does sound like the quickest way to get around. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh huh. By your description, this seems like kind of a bad idea. Oh shit, yeah, she did say that. Whatever, okay. Well, finding a vehicle was easy, but they had all been abandoned for a good reason. They weren't going anywhere. I had to find one I could feasibly get out of there with. An abandoned one you could feasibly get out of there with. Right. So how did that go? And what did Chess have to say about this? Wait, is Chess with us? I can't tell. Alright, fine, cool. He was game. Anything to get his sister faster. We figured we'd make better time if we split up. I went for the car. He went to scout out a route. Sounds like a fat plan. It actually does sound like a good plan. I wasn't really sure what I was looking for. Just that I needed a car. Stat. I found a station wagon open. And with the key and the ignition, no sign of the owner. I jumped in and gunned it, and got maybe half a block before I hit complete traffic block. I thought this was the apocalypse. Why is there traffic? Oh, whatever. 
Everyone was beeping. People were abandoning their cars. All traffic rules forgotten. I'm not sure what else you expected. I expect you said there was this. Oh wait, the bombs haven't dropped yet. Hasn't it been half an hour yet? That's probably why it's better to do the motorbike. All right, fine. What happened next? Yeah, well. <laughs> oh yeah, well. Shut up. I decided walking. Oh, for fuck's sake. The whole downtown area was gridlocked, cars everywhere, people running down the sidewalks, the signs blurring. It was like one of those disaster movies, no hope of driving anywhere at any rate. But where was everyone going? Most of them going home, I think. Ah, <sighs> fine. Sorry, that's me being stupid. I thought, because they're going home, they wouldn't be on the street in the traffic! People were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, on the street, being traffic! And there you were, running away from home. Do I, do I need to repeat myself? Once I made my decision, I stuck to it, no matter how much I was filled with doubt. Half an hour, half an hour was nothing, nothing at all. But luckily that estimate was completely wrong. If you kept it in the car and waited everyone to go home, you could have easily escaped the town. I just, I don't know, I just don't agree with that scenario. But it's a dream. Cars can appear out of nowhere. Sometimes I'll walk half an hour in the wrong direction just because I stubbornly refuse to believe I'm last. Mad indeed. I didn't know what was the right direction, but I did try to get there as fast as possible. Although that was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I was swept up in a mass of people and manhandled in the wrong direction more than once. Every few minutes I stopped to consult the map to make sure I was going the right direction. Okay, so I'm guessing the map saved us. Was there any danger? Like people attacking each other or something? No, I thought we were all going in the same direction. But then I realized that the crowd was heading somewhere I hadn't planned to go. A subway station. Well, it's good shelter, but... What'd you do? I was swept along. I was allowed to get trampled or pinned against some wall. I finally managed to disentangle myself at the stalled mass of people just outside the entrance. Apparently it was closed, and people were trying to break through the gates. By the time I was out, though, I had lost a lot of time. Time, yes. Isn't that the thing you're frightened here? How far away were you planning on getting? Well, a lot farther than I had gone at that point. I could practically still see my apartment building. But the crowd was slowly thinning, at least, and I actually saw a vehicle in motion, an ambulance, weaving between stalled cars with its sirens blaring. What'd you do? Right. They said the car was a bad idea, so I think... I think... I don't... Uh, if there's really that much traffic and stuff, then I'm gonna try and ignore the car. I started looking for shelter, I kept walking, and tended to get away from danger before I had to stop walking. <laughs> See, here I am again, all the options sound wrong. A car would get us out easier, but I just don't see... I don't see how sticking to the same plan would help, but on the other hand, I don't see how these two options would help me help chess. So, find an appropriate car. I... Mm. I don't see what good appropriating a car will do us, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I don't like these other two options. I'm still not sure how you're ethically justifying this to yourself. <laughs> yeah, we are assholes, aren't we? Trying to steal everything. I was scared of my wits, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, she's agreeing with me, okay. Fair enough. So, how did you go about it? I, um, kind of just jumped into the first open door I found. Of course, there was no key because the driver still had it. He'd just been on the other side of the car. Seeing me sitting there, he had a minor apoplicate? Apoplicate? Damn it! That word fit and ran at me, keys in hand. God damn it, Alice, I knew you weren't a car thief material. <laughs> I panicked when I saw him coming and went for the door. He saw me do it and I tried to stop me, but in my scrutiny state, I managed to close it in his face and then immediately locked it. Of course, he did have the key, but I managed to crawl out the passenger door before he got the door open again. Lucky, lucky, you're telling me. Hey, it was my first attempt at car theft, even if it didn't go very well. I'm assuming you stopped after this. I scuttled around for a bit longer, but I didn't dare try another car. Oh, so it was a bad idea. The next guy might have a gun in his hand, not the keys. So finally, I decided to stop wasting time and start walking. Shouldn't we find some kind of shelter? I've got a feeling shelter would be bring me back to that queen. And I don't want to go back to that queen if I can help it. Ugh, but this game is really pointing me towards a shelter. No, I wanna, I wanna hop out of danger. Chester's single mindedness was what led me. 
I was pretty sure this was a moment monumental mistake and that we get cut us oh for God's sake but I couldn't just leave him so we kept walking so how did that work for you it worked terribly basically bombs came everywhere we should have gone to the Queen where we'd get trapped in a building and have to get out and be pointless but at least we survived the bombs please don't please for the love of God for if this game's got any goodness in it please let this work you think it was easy people had driven out into the sidewalks and left their cars Everything was a mess. I tried going down the main highway, but it proved pointless and I had to backtrack. Okay. Deep breaths. I could take, I could just take grammatical errors. Let me, let me repeat the sentence that pisses me off. People had driven out into the sidewalks and left their cars. Are you telling me after the fact you happened to get a bandwagon and traffic was everywhere. Then you got into another car and there was a person like, oh, I've got the keys, I'll jab you with them. And now there are literally cars everywhere. By the sound, well, you said driven out into the sidewalks and left their car. So I'm assuming the cars have no one in them. And you know, you could say, oh, there's no keys in there. You can hardwire it. Or chess as a man can hardwire it. What do you do? Forget there's cars. Why is there not a goddamn car section? Oh, no, no. I love, I, I absolutely love, and when I say love, I mean hate, because that's sarcasm. I love how I can't get a car now. I didn't say it was easy. Did you consider running? Let it go, James. Let it go. I half ran and jogged as much as I could. But it felt like being late for class. I got tired almost immediately, while the goal was still as far away as ever. Chess wanted to go faster, but he slowed down when he saw I was struggling. The worried look on his face went nowhere, though. Oh, but the happy face is still fine. And? And, well, once I got away from the dance area, things were much smoother. Oh, good! We did something right! I ran as fast as I could, as fast as I could. No bombs, still no bombs. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my luck. But I knew I was pushing it now. What did you do? We were getting closer, so we kept walking. So did you make it? Maybe the bombs were just a scare. I doubt it. No, they weren't. <laughs> See, I saw it as a glow high above the town. What? You were outside where the bombs fell? I thought. I don't know. I thought I had time to get away, but I just wasted too much of it somehow. Wait. I was out in the street when the initial shot with came. There was just no duck and cover could have saved any of us there from that don't know thing. Next thing I know, I'm shouting glass and every oh, cost sweat, bedlam, bright light, ah, in peace building, I don't know, I blacked out. You had a real fucked up imagination, Alice. I absolutely concur. I don't. It didn't feel like a dream, that's the thing, because you don't wake up in dreams, do you? But I did, bleeding alone out on the street. What kind of dream is this? <laughs> okay. So wait, am I alive or not? What did you see? The scene's changed. I don't think I'm dead. Ah, okay, so we're in the bur blurred place. I saw a burning city. Also rained down. And downtown, far too close. A mushroom cloud. Just staring me in the face. It was the end of the world. I just knew that there and then. Okay, so the apocalypse has come. But I've still got a happy face. From what I understand, I'm covered in glass, though. Does that mean... I'm, like, injured? Or am I okay? Jeez. Jeez, eh? And there was a streak of light, and it was actually almost beautiful as it fell through space. Just a streak- Beautiful? The place is being blown up! Just a streak of light, and only a slight angle. I just had time to think, no, we've had enough before it hit. For some reason, I elected to stare right at it when it impacted above the ground in a terrible fireball. Wouldn't that blind you? Ah, uh, please tell me the dream ended here. Can, can there be a happy ending in this? Yeah, I didn't really see it through, but I died. Good, great, fantastic. I did make a wrong decision then. Eventually, in the dark. Dot, dot, dot. And... And thus concluded my dream. Well, that was interesting. What did you think? Think for... Oh, god damn it! I okay, killed something missing. That wasn't the way it was supposed to end, you know? Dreams are supposed to end a certain way. This one was... Maybe you could try again next night. See his... Uh... Uh, 
sure. Great. So in other words, I did it wrong again. Damn it. I thought I'd get somewhere with the chest cut. Yeah, stupid ass studio. Yeah, stupid ass fonts. Yeah, stupid ass red nettle. Ah, oh, I got the second ending, I think. Okay. So, I think... I've got a better pitch. I think I should stay away from, like, collecting Chesh, even if he's there with me, and I should try and get Shelter as fast as I can. Now, after Shelter, I can escape town. I'm just not sure if that's what I should do in this game. Um... I'm... I want to do Dark Alice next time. I don't care if normal default Alice does get me somewhere easier. Because so far I've had no luck with that Alice. But anyway, I'll get back to that next episode. Look out for my books, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time.